Hi, Tammy here. I am getting my tea ready for my jam for tomorrow. I You have to make the tea ahead of time in order to make the jam. I prefer making a jam to a jelly. I won't leave all this pulp in there. When everything's all said and done, the majority of it will be gone, and I'll add a little bit to it. But I'll show you that when we when we get there. Uh, right now, I just want to tell you that it needs to sit and, and steep for about 8 to 12 hours so that you get a good steep going and you are able to get all that flavor out. Um, most recipes tell you that you should bring your water to a boil. Well, I use a lot of herbal teas and I don't bring the water to a boil. I bring it to an almost boil. I want it to be hot, but not enough to take the value of the plant out. I just want it to bring the essence out of whatever I'm using. So that's the difference. Like I told you before, I can only tell you and share with you what I do. I'm really tired, so I apologize for the kind of drag in my voice. <clears throat> in this is four, no, three cups of petals and four cups of hot water and two tablespoons of lemon juice. It's all been put in this 12, whoops, there I am, 12 pot coffee pot and I'll let that sit and steep in that overnight. I'll put a piece of strand wrap over the top of it and it should be ready for me in the morning. When I get up I'll strain it and press all the goodness out of those petals and when I can use those inside um, muffins or biscuits or bread afterwards. They don't have to be tossed. That's one thing you need to know too is you can use them. They're still you know, they still have some good viable use to them afterwards. Or I can simply put them out for the chickens too and let them enjoy them. I will add probably about a half a cup of petals back to this because I prefer jam to a jelly. I like a little um, body to my, to my jam. I like it to have texture. I'm not a real big jelly eater. And the petals have so much value to them that they're, they're really rich with a lot of different um, minerals and vitamins in them. So you only benefit by adding them back in. All right, well, I am going to bed. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you um, are a subscriber, thank you. And if you're not and would like to, just hit the subscribe button. But remember to click on the bell also. That way you'll be alerted when I put a new video out. And there will be a second part to this video because we're going to complete this jam when it's time. Uh, again, I'll, I'll have the recipe in the second half of it. But if you do want to start it, if you're, if you're planning on working on jelly or jam yourself, you want to have two cups of the petals, just the petals, no green in them. The green causes it to taste bitter. If it has a little bit in it, you know, it's not that big a deal. But you don't want to put the whole flower bud in. That's That will make it taste very bitter, very off. And it changes the color of it too. And then four cups of water and two tablespoons of lemon juice. And the water again, I don't boil. I just make it very, very hot, hot enough to steep the goodness out of the petals. Okay, well, I hope everybody's having a good night. If you have any questions or requests, you know, there's lots of things that I'm not sure what people want to know. Um, just put it in the comments and I'll do my best to try to help you out. If I don't know, I'll find the information. I'll, I'll ask somebody, you know, I'll go digging. I've been doing this for a really long time, so I know quite a bit and what I don't know, I certainly know the people that might know, okay? Right. Have a good night.